This video is on the causes of population increase during the Industrial Revolution. First up, we'll take a look at how population has grown and changed over time. And second of all, in this video, we'll look at the causes of these population trends, the two most notable of which are a decline in mortality rates and the unchanged birth rates. Coming back to the population trends, we can see that population growth has remained fairly low and stagnant for most of history. Only in 1850, around the start of the Industrial Revolution, did the population begin to grow rapidly, up to 7 billion in 2016. Population is projected to continue to grow till 11, million, uh, 11 billion by the end of the century. But how can this population growth be explained? The first factor we need to look at is the decline in mortality rates. Because of the Industrial Revolution, technology improved, leading to improved food supply, water supply, sanitation, medication and access to doctors, meaning that diseases could be treated and there was less starvation and malnutrition. Aside from these improvements in technology, climatic and environmental factors also played a role in the declining mortality rates. For example, improved climatic conditions may have led to higher crop yield. But a decline in mortality rates alone is not sufficient to explain population increase. Population increase depends on two main variables, the mortality rate and the birth rate. If the, if the birth rates, for instance, were to decrease along with the mortality rates, no significant change in population would have occurred. So the big difference, which is known as natural increase, is caused by the fact that the birth rates have remained unchanged all while the death rates declined. But why did the birth rates remain as they were? The unchanged birth rates can be explained mostly by social factors. The first one could be that people previously wanted more children than remained alive, and the fall in the death rates enabled them to realize that des desire. The second could be that changing social values and habits kept most people from contracepting, so people still had children. The third was that um, people could provide sustenance for more children, so people wanted to have more children. And the fourth was that the fall in mortality was not immediately obvious and so people didn't think differently about differently about having more children so the fall in mortality did not immediately stimulate changes in behavior